Hey guys, so this is the Freezing Point Depression Lab. Um, I'm Dr. Cadell, if you don't know. And um, the idea behind this lab is that you're going to measure the freezing point, melting point, same thing, of a pure solvent. Now that solvent is at room temperature a solid, solid organic solvent. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna melt it, or I'm gonna do, I'm gonna melt it, and then um, record the temperature on the Surface Pro and LabQuest as it freezes. Um, as it freezes, this will plot a graph, you won't need to see that as we're doing it, of the temperature versus time. What it look, what it'll, will look like is that the temperature is gonna go down over time until it hits its freezing point, at which point the temperature will stay constant, and then once it's completely frozen, it'll start going down again. Our goal is to determine the freezing or melting point of the pure stuff, and then we're, you're gonna have an unknown, that's going to be your solute. After you do uh, measure the freezing point of the pure substance, you're going to add the solute, the unknown to it, and measure the new freezing point. Now we know that when you add a solute to a solvent, the freezing point goes down. And so the new freezing point should be lower. Knowing the two freezing points, the difference in the freezing point will allow you, using the freezing point depression equation, to calculate the molality of your unknown, your solution. Your solution is your unknown in your, your solvent. Knowing the molality, which remember is the moles of solute over kilograms of solvent, and knowing how many kilograms of your solvent, which is this you have, will allow you to calculate moles of your solute, which is your unknown. Knowing moles of your solute and grams, you're gonna weigh it, that'll allow you to determine the molar mass, the grams per mole of your unknown. So that's the idea. So to start out, we're going to have a tall form beaker with regular old tap water in it, stir bar, stirring, boiling on a hot plate, all ready to go. As that's going, you're going to take a large test tube from your locker, the solid organic solvent, and what we do is we're going to weigh out some of the solvent into here. And the amount that we're going to weigh out is enough so that it comes up to the bottom of this stopper. This is a one hole rubber stopper fits in here and we want to get as much of that solvent in there as we can. So to do that, and we need to know how much the solvent weighs by itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the empty test tube in a beaker on the balance and tear it out. We don't care how much those weigh. So tear it out, it says zero. Take the test tube out, powder funnel, solid organic solvent, spatula. This part gets messy, but we'll just, we're just going to fill it right on up to about where that, that rubber stopper was. And however much that is, that's how much it weighs. The reason that um, we want to fill it up as far as we can is that when this stuff melts, it actually condenses. Um, and then the level goes down, and we need to make sure we have enough of our solvent in here to actually measure the temperature. You'll see when we put the probe in. Remember, always put the lids back on the containers. We've got this teared, so I know that's about how much um, we're going to want. That way, the, it's almost up to the stopper. Put it in there, close the doors. You're going to need that mass in your data table. That's a very important number. That's the mass of your solvent in kilograms. Take it out. Put the one-hole stopper in. This is a temperature probe, which is connected to your LabQuest, which is connected to your Surface Pro. And you'll have Logger Pro running on your Surface Pro. So now we're going to melt the solid organic solvent, pure solvent. This is a ring stand, clamp. So I'm going to clamp this down. And now we want to get that down as far as we can. So I'm going to clamp it right about there. Once that's on tight, I'm going to lower this as much as I can. And then we're going to wait for it to melt. So almost melted guys, there's just a little bit of the white solid organic solvent in the bottom there and now it's gone. As soon as it's gone, we're going to want to take it out. 
So the way we do that is we just loosen this, take it right out. We're going to put the temperature probe in here. This is why we needed, see how far down that went? That's why we needed to fill it up as far as we could. Now, um, about now we're gonna start the program, Logger Pro, and it's now graphing temperature versus time. Um, so now we're gonna sit here for a while, um, agitating it the entire time, um, and let it solidify. So as we do this, what this graph will look like, actually right now it's going up, but now it's pretty much peaked out. It's gonna start coming down, and when it hits its melting point, freezing point, same thing, it'll flatten out. Once it's completed freezing, it'll start decreasing in temperature again. So it is important to agitate it the entire time. All right, guys, so um, now it's completely frozen. Temperature has plateaued and started to decrease, so we're finished with this run. What we're gonna do now is, um, as we weigh out the unknown, we're gonna start melting this again. Same solvent, just put it back in here, tighten it back down. Um, so you can get the probe out, great. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, came out, great. So as this is melting, guys, we're gonna take the unknown here, weigh it all. To do that, take a plastic weigh boat, place it on the balance, tear the balance, take the weigh boat out because we never add anything directly to the balance, and just pour all of the unknown you can get, minus what you spill, into there. Put it back on the balance. Close the door. That's also a very important number. This is the mass of your unknown, which is the solute. Once you get that, record that in your data table. Take it out. And even though my solid organic solvent has not completely melted, we can still add the unknown to it. Do that. Funnel. Weigh boat. And just dump it right on in. Make sure you get it all. And now we can see it's not completely melted. There's some of the solid organic solvent up here not melted. We need to wait for that to all melt. Um, everything else is pretty much melted, but it'll go, so we'll just leave it there. All right, so now that everything has melted, we have the solute, which is your unknown, as well as the same organic solvent, same mass in there. Take it out and follow the same procedure that we did with the pure organic solvent. Start Logger Pro, continuously agitate it. The temperature will decrease until it gets to the freezing point. The new freezing point will plateau and then eventually start to decrease again. The new freezing point will be lower than the freezing point of the pure solvent. The new freezing point and the original freezing point, two other pieces, important pieces of data. And that's all there is to it.